Hey guys, Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. I have in my hand a little tiny thing. It's a probe. Yes. That's Turn around. No. This is the Scotchy Motor Mouth 2. What it has that? a blue light. Oh, Bluetooth. Yes, indeed. Exactly yes. So what this is is a thing you plug into your car stereo's auxiliary input, mm -hmm. or any auxiliary input for that matter, and uh, connects to your phone or MP3 player or whatever using A2DP. What's A2DP? Uh, A2DP is a Bluetooth technology that lets you get high quality audio piped across Bluetooth. So it doesn't sound like the little fuzzy headset that's in your ear. It makes you look like a goofball. Sweet. Let's go outside and check it out. So here we are in my car. This is the motor mouth. We've already talked about it. But what it does is plugs into the auxiliary input in your car. So if you don't have that, this isn't going to work for you. But if you do, what it's going to do is add wireless music playback uh, while in the car. Uh, let's see if I can play some music right here. So it's connected right now via Bluetooth. Uh-huh. And I'm on the line input. Let me check volume here. And your phone has A2DP support? It, every phone has A2DP support. But basically, it just starts playing. Reasonably good audio quality. If you're listening to MP3s, you're probably not going to notice a difference. Uh, between this and a wire, I, I couldn't tell anything, but I mean, you know, sounds good. You can control the volume, of course, with the with the volume on the phone or on the on the dash. I found it was uh, best to have high volume coming out of the phone, low volume coming out of the dash to minimize noise. Now, I did notice a couple of things that kind of annoy me. This uh, this comes with some accessories. Uh, this is a cigarette lighter adapter to USB, which is really handy. It fits super flush in here in the dash thing. Lights up blue. Lights up blue. That means it's from the future and you can plug it in by feel. Now, the bad news is when you do that, you get a little bit of a ground hum. So uh, this guy has a, they say a five, five to eight hour battery. I haven't used it for that long, so I don't know how, how long that's gonna hold up. Uh, you can minimize that, that ground hum by turning the volume all the way up here and down low on the, on the, um, on the dash. And that's just to charge this. That's just to keep that thing charged. Now, the other thing, of course, it's a constant hassle with these things is getting Bluetooth running and, and connected. So you kind of have to keep, uh, there's a button on the side of the Scotchy thing that will let you uh, connect it and it should just start working. Red is not good. No, red actually means charging. Okay, so it's working uh, back to playing. It seems like it's raining outside. There we go, back there. So now, uh, if you wanna make a call or something like that, this also has a microphone. So you can basically turn your car into like a sink or if your car has a fancy speakerphone or something like that. Uh, I'm going to call my voicemail right now. Uh, and there's a smart button on there so you can do voice commands and stuff like that. If you want to answer, then you can just tap the button. Uh, it comes with a little stand. So if you want to glue it up here where it's a little bit out of the way, then, then you can do that. But then you're gonna have cables running everywhere which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing as far as I'm concerned. Chloe, answer the phone. Uh, this is going to give my phone number, so I'm going to hang up. But, I mean, you can hear the phone ringing out of here. Uh, it, the, vo the voice quality is reasonably good. Uh, it's not great, but it's better than uh, the Bluetooth, yeah. you know, cheap Bluetooth headsets that I've seen. And, of course, it comes out of your stereo, so it's crazy loud. Of course, only works if your car has an aux in. Only works if you have an aux in. And it works best if you can hook the Bluetooth thing relatively near to that. Yes. So you can, I'm going to bundle this cable up so it's out of the way and you don't see it. So it's pretty cool. Works reasonably Works. well. Music quality was very good. Speakerphone's good. Yep. Uh, the only thing is, you can only connect five Bluetooth devices to it. Well, that's, so, that's not so it's bad. Not bad. I don't have five Bluetooth devices, but well, if I'm a family, big family and everyone yeah. has an iPod and it's, an iPhone, it's a little bit confusing, yeah. like figuring out who has priority. Basically, the first thing you connect holds on, but it's like fifty or sixty bucks. Reasonably good deal. Rechargeable. Includes that. I'd rather have this in a doofy charger. Bluetooth headset in my car. Yeah. You never have to worry about charging it because it's just going to plug straight in and you get a free U USB uh, car charger as well. So for Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys See. later.